Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about one really cool feature about Brave that you might not have known about. Before that though, I want to encourage you guys to go to brave.com slash time352 if you haven't installed Brave already. If you do this, you'll download Brave, install it for free, and it'll help support the channel. You can also watch ads on Brave if you want and earn cryptocurrency yourself or even donate cryptocurrency to me if you feel like I deserve it. Now though guys, we want to talk about Brave's really cool feature you might not have known about. Now, you might not be familiar with Tor, but basically what Tor is, is a browser, and a, a separate browser, that allows you to browse the internet more anonymously. It does this kind of by bouncing your internet connection among a series of nodes, and it's pretty technical, but the end result is that you're going to be more anonymous while browsing the internet, and websites aren't really going to be able to track you that well. Tor browser also doesn't store cookies and stuff like this, so it's also a little bit more anonymous in that fashion. It's pretty much going to cloak your IP and make you anonymous, and a lot of people recommend using Tor over Brave for that very reason. A lot of people say, why would you use Brave? It's not going to make you anonymous like Tor. And that's what we're here today to show you. With Brave, you can actually use Tor as well. Basically, what you're going to do is go to the top right here, click on this tab, and then you're going to do new private window with Tor. So what happens now is that Brave is integrated with Tor and it's going to hide your IP address and route your browsing through several Tor servers before it reaches the destination. These connections are encrypted so your ISP or employer can't see what websites you're visiting. It can slow down browsing. That's one thing about Tor that you might notice. And it can kind of sometimes break websites or prevent websites from letting you access them. They'll kind of detect that you're using Tor or maybe they can't track anything about you and they don't really want you to use it. That's really the only downside with Tor. But guys, I thought this was a really cool tip to show you that Brave is probably the best browser out there, especially since you can use cool integrations like this to become even more anonymous. Now, of course, I always recommend using VPN as well, putting your VPN before you even start the browser and using Tor, that's gonna be even better. Um, that way, you know, your source IP is encrypted. Um, but this is a really good tip for anonymity, something you might not have known about Brave and something you could take advantage of if you really wanna take it to the next step. Anyways, guys, just a short kind of tips and trick video about Brave. Let me know if you didn't know this or if you did know about it down in the comments down below or if you have any video ideas you might want to see on the channel. And I'll see you again very soon.